Larry, what does the research say about having these activities outside of, uh, of your studies and, and how does that impact the actual learning process? Yeah, you know, one very important thing that, I, that I'm hearing from both DJ and Bella is this idea of setting goals and, and monitoring your goals. Uh, one study that we've looked at uh, very closely was a study conducted by some professors at the University of Pennsylvania uh, with students that were definitely younger. They were students studying for the PSAT and they invited the students that were in the experimental group into a very simple activity of setting goals for themselves with respect to practice and then asking them to imagine, well, if something were to come up, like things always come up in life when you're going to study, and these were students that were sent off for the summer uh, to do studying for the PSAT, if something were to come up, imagine how you would get around that. Like, think through those obstacles and what you would do to commit yourself to doing it. And getting the students to reflect on why it's so important to continue with the practice. And what was really interesting, this simple activity before the beginning of the summer led to a significantly greater commitment on the part of the students hmm. to doing more practice. So setting goals, monitoring your goals, very critical for students. And, and people who are, you know, who are already very uh, self-motivated, uh, like Bella and DJ, you know, it's part of their makeup, it's what they do. But for students who are cognizant of wait, I, I may not necessarily be that attuned to that. Getting yourself a sort of calendarized plan of how you're going to partition your day like DJ was talking about. Oh, I, I know I have a sports commitment in college at this time, but I'm going to set aside this time for studying is really great. Uh, and then monitoring that and making sure you're, you're seeing how you're doing with that. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Absolutely. And that's actually that's something that I tell my students all the time. I, I continue to teach MCAT classes and there's a big difference when you're studying between saying, oh, I'm going to study sometime today, or saying, I'm going to study from 9 o'clock to noon and make sure that I pound out these chapters. It's, it's a very different experience and it's a very different thing in your, in your head in terms of whether or not you'll actually follow through. So that's great to hear that there's actual research behind that, that I'm not just saying that from my own experience. <laughs>